And as the nation hits the grim milestone of 400,000 American lives lost due to COVID-19, a national memorial hopes to unite us while remembering the ones we've lost to the virus. The I-40 bridge lit up just minutes ago, and that was to honor those who died from COVID locally. And Local 24 News reporter Jalen Socek explains why Shelby County joined this effort. Across the nation, cities and towns are lighting up in remembrance of the 400,000 lives lost to COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic one year ago. We just need to stop, pause, and reflect and memorialize those whose lives we've lost. Memphis City Councilwoman Michael Lynn Easter Thomas helped lead efforts for Memphis to join the National Memorial. The Hernando de Soto Bridge will light up red, white, and blue to remember all lives lost, including the more than 1,140 people in Shelby County that have died from COVID-19. I'm sure we can safely say that everyone has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, whether they've lost a loved one, a spouse, a sibling, a partner, a friend. Um, and I just think we need to stop and pause and think about that. The National Memorial was put together on the eve of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration by his inaugural committee. In a statement, the committee said the inauguration represents a new national journey. But before embarking on that, it's important to remember the lives lost as the country tries to unite and put an end to the pandemic. Easter Thomas says this memorial is also a reminder and a statement that the work isn't over yet. Just a constant reminder of why we mask up of why we're socially distant, of why our kids are not in school, of why we are constantly encouraging and supporting our healthcare workers and first responders. We aren't done. This pandemic is not over. Jalen Socek, Local 24 News.